Well, did you know that an area of New Jersey is considered the fluorescent mineral capital of the world? Okay, the towns of Franklin and Ogdensburg in Sussex County are world famous for their zinc mines, which contain fluorescent minerals that glow in the dark. Very cool. As Fox News' Arthur Chan shows us, you can actually go into one of these mines to witness the natural wonder firsthand. <laughs> The majestic colors here would make you think you're either in deep space or in the deepest part of the ocean. But this video is from a former zinc mine in New Jersey, now a museum that aims to rock your world. Okay, come on in here. William Croft is the man behind the curtain here at the Sterling Hill Mining Museum in Ogdensburg, New Jersey. For 35 years, he's owned this place and has been opening its doors to everyone, from second graders to PhD students to geologists, all to foster a solid interest in mining. Some of them have even gotten married here. While there is a lot to see, 400 minerals, the glowing rock formations, set it apart from all other mining museums. So what's happening, this high energy ultraviolet light is being absorbed by our special minerals here. As the outer electrons get excited, they jump up to higher energy levels where they do not belong. When they come back down, they give off energy. Croft took us through the mines, which runs half a mile deep towards the Earth's core. The mine goes down 25 levels. A pulley system would take miners down on one side while bringing up rocks with the counterweight. With what they say is one of the world's largest deposits of zinc, used as a protective layer on steel and iron, digging at the Sterling Hill mine began in the mid-1800s. The glowing rocks were discovered by accident when miners threw switches to turn on lights. It would arc and the sparks revealed the glowing wonder. One of the zinc ores glows a beautiful green color. And all you had to do was make some sparks and you could see the outline of where all of that valuable ore was. In 1986, the mine would go out of business, a victim of taxes, worker demands, and environmental regulations. But now it lives on as a timeless classroom, a living, breathing lesson on the elements of life. The museum is open seven days a week and they give tours on the weekends at one o'clock. But they say if you're a group of 15 or more, they'll make a special arrangement for you. As for Croft, He's crystal clear on what they are here to do. We got to get kids interested in science and engineering. When the kids see these glowing rocks, they go crazy. They realize science is fascinating, science could be fun. An experience engineered to educate while museum goers have a blast. In Ogdensburg, New Jersey, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.